just had another base rate announcement from the Bank of England. So I am back with our in-house expert, Kate, to figure out what's going on. So Kate, tell us what's happened and why. We've seen uh, the 12th consecutive rate rise from the Bank of England. So uh, the interest rate, the base rate has gone up by 0.25%. Um, so we now have a base rate of 4.5%. This was quite largely predicted. It, it's inflation is proving stickier and more of an issue, and there was expected to be something happen. So yeah, it's not a surprise that we, we've had another increase. Why was this increase so predictable? We've seen other central banks do the same. So uh, the US Federal Reserve also increased their rate uh, recently. The European Central Bank put theirs up by 0.25% as well. Um, so it's not a surprise. It, it was quite widely predicted. As said, inflation's still very present and still very much an issue. And this is one of the only ways the Bank of England can really tackle that problem. What are lenders doing in response to this base rate increase? Lenders saw this coming. So we actually saw a couple of weeks ago um, some very big names like Nationwide and Virgin Money and things like that starting to put their, their mortgage rates up. And usually around the fixed rate mortgages and um, around that lower LTV bit, so the loan to value amount, we saw 60% and 70% um, rates starting to climb. 90% and 95% LTV, which is where first time buyers usually find themselves, that hasn't actually made changed that much at the moment. And we have seen a lot of mortgage rates going up every time there's a Bank of England base rate increase. Do you expect to see the same for savings rates? You would expect it. It's not happening as fast as the mortgage rates. Um, banks seem to be keener to put those up before they uh, put their savings rates up. Um, but it's starting It's starting to be quite obvious when a bank hasn't passed that on to the savers. Um, so the Financial Conduct Authority, which is the UK regulator, and MPs are starting to talk to banks about why this hasn't happened. Savings rates tend to be more uh, driven by competition in the market. So when somebody puts their rates up, somebody else will. My advice as a saver would be to shop around, find the best rate you can for the type of savings product that you're looking at. So lenders don't have to put up their rates when the base rate goes up? They don't have to, as I said, they're, they're expected to. The idea is if the interest rate goes up, borrowing becomes more expensive, but savers should be rewarded. Um, savings rates are still far below what inflation is, so um, real term value of your savings is being eroded by the high cost of prices. Um, so the higher saving rate that you can get on your savings is best right now. Are we going to see another increase this year, do you reckon? I think we will probably see one more, yes. I think um, it's slowing down. The last two, I think, have only been that 0.25% uh, bump. So I imagine the Bank of England have left themselves room. Um, so if inflation continues uh, to, to still be quite present, then I think we'll see at least one more this year.